prototype of my AI crowd simulator for the People Gun game. Um, I have a very basic script in place here. There, this is the thing it's running away from. The person is running away from. The person's right here. Uh, this sphere right here it is fleeing from, and uh, in between zero distance and eight units away from it, it'll be using this curve to determine whether it is fleeing or whether it is just wandering randomly. So if we press play, we can see walks more or less straight away from it. And as it gets farther away, it starts to wander a little bit more. Until over here, its motion is completely free. It can go any way it wishes. Now we can make the smaller, we can make it safe at only two units. So now you'll see it is free very early on. On the other hand, we could make it have to be 100 units away before it can stop running away. And you can see it goes very straight away from it. It's just getting out of there. Oh no. Go back to 8. Uh, you can change this curve. Right now it, it's fleeing, 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 and then pretty suddenly it kind of goes and it's it feels safe. You can do this. Right when it's up close it's pretty scared, but then it gets it calms down fairly quickly and eases into that. We'll be able to and it's hard to see any difference in behavior with just this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, uh, let's say, 45 people. And now you can see they're all running away. Now we can put that curve back at the original, which I like the most. Because they're all going to run away. They're getting out of there. You can move this. And the neat thing about my script is that um, every frame it only calculates um, the way a single one of these people is going to move. So even if you have, let's say, how many should I make? I'm going to make a ton. I'm going to make like 200, and they might not even fit in that little square that I'm spawning them in. I'm going to make 200, and you will see it still runs really smoothly, even though they're all doing complex distance calculations and directional calculations. They're just doing one of those every frame. Uh-oh, one of my people fell out. It's not good. Wow, a lot of them are falling out. Oh, because my sphere is hitting them a bit. I don't know. Yeah, the sphere is definitely hitting them and knocking them out. And obviously it's not in the game, it's not going to be in a small enclosed box like this and the density of the people isn't going to be nearly this great so I don't expect them to clump up quite that much around the corners. And of course, this is not finished. I will be working on this further. I'll go over. This is my actual city prototype of this, so I have some, some simple buildings here. And I have this sphere, which they are all running away from, obviously. And you can see they act a lot more naturally with this. Wandering around. And because it's only doing one per frame and there's a lot of them, they get a little bit confused sometimes about whether they're running away. Like you notice, they kind of clumped up in the corners at first, but then they realized they were safe, they're far away from it. They stopped. So they make this nice, like, gradual margin where they don't, they start feeling uncomfortable going towards it. And you can see as, like, one approaches, there, that one's approaching. Won't do. It's like, nope, I'm not going there. Move it. Again, because it's only doing one per frame, it takes a moment before they all realize that they need to get out of there. Which is alright, really. Because it's a little bit realistic, they might not notice that you're chasing them. But anyway, what I mean to show that by this is that I have this simple crowd simulator that looks decently realistic. I'm not going for mirroring human behavior in this game. What I'm doing is just making... I want a lot of people. I want them to all be running away from you. So yeah. Uh, that is all I want to show. Subscribe if you want to keep posted on this project.